Hi everyone, welcome to, well welcome back should I say, to a very impromptu video. So I've been doing my budget and just thinking about it, um, I do obviously all you, you know, I've got my, my tins like this, like this is my 1p challenge one. And I have been doing my holiday challenge which I used Sarah's jigsaw challenge for and then I've been putting in extras as well. But I feel like um, I don't want to put coins in too many challenges, you know, like my ones and twos, one pounds and two pound coins. And also I feel like I'm at a happy place with my, hol um, not my holiday budget, my, it's the six weeks holidays um, spending. So like if we go to park or anything. So my first goal was £250 and I kind of just left it in there. But I'm feeling like I want to stop doing my tin for it now and just putting in £5 a week just to top it up. So we are open, well we've already opened it because I've seen other people open it and say that they have struggles with it. But mine open very easy, these are the ones from Pound Shop. Um, so yeah, so I'll give you a little sneak peek. Um, it wasn't full, but it was pretty much to the point where I was happy with it, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to take all the notes out. And I'm happy with these notes because they don't seem to have stayed in like the folded position. And let's just, elephant in the room, we all know I'm not very good with counting, so I've got my calculator with me. So... I don't know which order to do it in. Should I do the notes first and then the coins? Look at all them coins in the bottom. Or should I do... Yeah, I think I will. So I've got my calculator because my counting, when it when I get over a certain number, it just goes here where I don't know what happens. Um, And also, the quite... The quite... Um, not behaving themselves because they've been obviously folded for quite a while. Anyway, what? when did I start this? Well, I didn't get Sarah's challenge till January, so I wasn't actually doing it for that long. Um, But I'm really happy. I'm really proud of myself for the progress that I've made with this one. Um, I'm just going to put that on there to try and scrunch it down a bit. Um, But yeah, there's my a lot of fives in here and i know i'll have you all take a little guess how much you think's in it um i'll give you a clue there's at least 250 because i did the 250 challenge and that's where i was happy to stop to be honest but i kept adding to it for a little bit and um, but now it's come to the point where like i've, I've got my two pound challenge i've got my one pound challenge so I want my coins to be going into them really, rather than um, this one that's got plenty in. So I'm just going to put that one on there, just to keep it down. So we have two £20 notes. So I'm just going to put 40 into my calculator. Do you want to see my calculator? So that's 40. Then we'll do the 10s. So we have in tens 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 in tens. So that's a lot more than a 40 tens to be fair. Because I thought there was going to be a lot in them um, coins, but I feel like I had more notes than I thought. So in fives, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So I'm just going to put them down because I don't like the feel of them in my hands. So 50. And also, if this is how much is in this one, I cannot wait for my um, Christmas one. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So, add a number 25. So, in total, there was £75 in £5 notes, I think, if my maths is right. This has been so fun, honestly. 
if you haven't got a jar that you can't get into i highly recommend getting one so what i'm going to do i'm just going to pour it out sorry about the noise if you've got headphones on so i think the best way to do this is just to count it in tens so one two three four five no one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so i'm just going to put it back into the jar for now just while i count it and then two four six eight ten so that's another ten and then two three no one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so if you haven't yet guessed, put it down below. And I, again, I'm not very good at counting, so I might have counted wrong. So if I have, just ignore me. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So two, four, six, eight, ten. And if you can hear that, that's Imogen Rose on the Manor X again. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, this is so exciting. Right, so we're at 225. So I'm just going to count 25 now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So that is officially the 250 that I did on the challenge. Um, so this is how much extra I've put in. To be fair, I thought it was a bit more than that, but obviously not. <laughs> So we have two, four, six, eight, ten, two, so twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. So in total. We have saved in my little summer holidays jar, give or take a few pounds if I've gone wrong somewhere, £277. So that to me is amazing. Um, I have been doing this probably end of January and I'd have never have had this amount of money had I not had my tin. This, these tins are amazing because you just can't get into them. So what I think I'm going to do is, because I'm happy with my 250, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I've just opened an AtWest account, so I can use their coin machine, because it'll take too long otherwise. So I'm going to double check that that's 250 in there, but this I'm going to put into some other challenges, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the 250, I'm going to put it into my binder, and then every week from now, I'm also going to add £5 to it. So I go, they break off from school in the middle of July. So I'm hoping I can hit at least another £100 and have £350 by the time they break off. And this is for stuff like if we want to go soft play, if we want to go to the park, if we want to, um, I don't know, go swimming. This isn't for a holiday, this is just for days out in between. So what I'm going to do is I've got this new challenge and it's got a pound in it so far. And also I've got the one pound challenge. So I'm just literally, I'm going to put that back up there because I don't need that one. This is where my one pound challenge goes. 
and obviously no two pounds and this is where my one pound challenge goes so i'm just gonna find where my two right so this is my two pound challenge so we've got two four six eight ten twelve is that right yep yeah, so i've got twelve so I can tick off, um, mark off six of them, I believe. Yeah, is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is a hundred, so I have no idea what I'm going to do with this one. Um, probably again go to towards family days out. So they're in there. I'm real happy with myself because I've been so just really um what's the word? Strict with myself. A lot more strict lately. And it just feels a lot better to do. So that last challenge was from Budget with Zer. This one's from Budget Lux. And um, this isn't I've had this about a week now, so I haven't bought it, so I don't Think that I'm cheating my nurse spend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. See what I mean about my counting? Like two complete different numbers. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. So I can mark off fourteen. So one, can you say two? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's £10 done. I love this. I think it's so unique. And obviously then you can do it over and over, can't you? So that's nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, how I have like the one pound challenge and I have the two pound challenge why I didn't want to keep putting all my change into this one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So eventually when there's quite a lot more in it'll flatten out and it stands up. I just loved it. I thought it was really nice. Um, it's just different, I think. So that's them two. That so now obviously I won't have the, the, this tin anymore. But I will quickly just show you what I bought. Again, I bought this on the first. This is what I've got off budget with Ped. It is absolutely amazing. So as most of you know, I give myself twenty five pound a week. Um, I, I, for this month, I haven't spent any money on myself at all. It's my birthday soon, um, but I haven't spent my physical spending money. And going forward, I'm hoping that all my spending money is going to go into this. And because I'm just sick of spending money that I don't need to, I have so much stuff. So yeah, that is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I picked this design. Um, but you can pick any design because I've got some envelopes coming off Ira, which is quite similar. Um, but yeah, it's it just makes me like so happy. Um, I don't think I've got no. I've took it out, but when I get my new envelopes off Ira, what I can do is put the the notes into that um, and take the change to the bank to get changed so i've got a pound left so i've changed over to this penny challenge simply because it's much easier it's the weekly one i've got a pound i thought i could do i can't even do out so i'm just going to add that in as extra um because i can't do any of them but i had i think about 80 or 90 pound in my 1p challenge because i had to add up every single one on my last one you know the, the daily one obviously this is still closed um so what i did i did the three biggest ones um 
and then a few of the small ones so it looks like a belly done out now but that's because that would have covered like that much of the other one so yeah i'll quickly have a flip through my binder and show you my new stuff so i got this off budget looks again i haven't bought anything in the month of may this is all from before um i got this single penny saving challenge and she's got so many and um, you all know about my 52 week challenge my 22 saving 2022 savings this will be done next week i've had this for ages i just haven't had the two pound coins because i've been putting them in there that's ryan's um oh actually i could put the money in here because this is off planning with ella but again I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fill this in for that because then I'll start adding more to it if that makes sense. So like these five pound notes, they'll get changed out so quickly um with with um like my shopping money or like whenever I need change or do you know something like that. So yeah, I'll I'll put them in there and then I'll just start changing them out for bigger denominations for our holiday um i'm not doing bingo at the minute challenges i got with i got off budget with shah i think it was because it's budget with c budget with shah yeah i think it was budget with shah um i've got this build a buffer i can't remember who i got it off like so maybe budget with shah um i've got the back to school one which is off um the budgeting bear and then the lovely budgeting with c sent me this um it says on the back of it keep smiling a little something extra to help with your etsy ban so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be doing this challenge um so basically every time i look at etsy and i want to buy something i'm going to put the money into this so i think that's really good and look how beautiful i don't know if it's showing up on camera but it's like um beautiful font really nice quality font um, and then i've got this one off Ira, which i'm going to start doing soon to be honest because i'm now i've not got that one to do and now that one's nearly done i need another big one to work on so yeah i hope everyone enjoyed this little impromptu video i'm really proud of myself for you know carrying it on not opening it i know you're probably thinking but you're opening it out but i was at my goal i knew what i wanted 250 and i know i'm gonna get to um 350 adding notes now i don't want to keep doing it with coins it's just a bit of an asshole um you know having to get them changed and that but now i have a netwest bank account apparently they have a coin sorter so yeah i'll leave it there hope everyone's well um, hope you managed to get a, a near guess. I was like, I said three hundred pound. I don't know <laughs> who I thought I was, but yeah, um, I'm still happy. It's still two hundred and was it seventy seven pound more than I had saved in January for because these are normal things that normally you know you don't think of and then you're like oh i've got no money for the six weeks holidays and they're the things that cost the money you know even like a day trip to park for me i've got five children you know five children if one of them wants to go on a donkey you know if one of them one of them wants waffle um, and ice cream that's like four pound just for one so it all adds up and then the one like sometimes we'll take a picnic but then there's a really nice chip shop outside of our park so then they'll all want chippy. So it just it just it's just there for if we have a day out. Sometimes we have lazy days, we don't really go out, but then sometimes we'll go two or three times a week. So obviously big families cost a lot of money. But yeah, I'll leave it there because it's 20 minutes long. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so excited now for my Christmas smashing. But going forward, actually, I don't think there's as many coins in this one as you see all them notes i think it's more notes and going forward it'll be all notes either 10 10 fives or 20s because hang on a minute did i show you i lose track of where everything is i'll quickly show you if you make it to the end of the video you've done well sarah made me this one um it's christmas challenge 
and it's 15s and 20s so i'll be doing that one um and putting that in going forward so yeah i'll speak to you on tuesday bye